Greetings from the World Health Organization in Geneva. It is an honor to speak to the members of the International Society of Nephrology, its specialists, nurses, and allied health professionals. This is a society with a strong humanitarian mission and an absolute commitment to improving kidney medicine the world over, also in very poor places. You pursue this mission and express this commitment through hands-on training, fellowships, grants, and an exciting program of sister centers. You are also doing so through the program of this World Congress and the very large number of countries, rich and poor, represented among participants. In my view, it is ethically unacceptable that a person with chronic kidney disease can enjoy a good quality of life in one country, yet face a death sentence in another. This is not the kind of world we want. This is what your society is working to change, and you are making a difference. The problem is enormous. Chronic kidney disease, at different levels of severity, affects around 5 to 7% of the world's population. The burden is heaviest in low-income settings and in marginalized populations. WHO is especially concerned about the heavy burden caused by diabetic nephropathy and the close association of chronic kidney disease with cardiovascular disease and hypertension. Most people think of nephrology as an exclusively high-tech branch of medicine, delivering dialysis and renal transplants in facilities that are almost hopelessly out of reach for most kidney patients in low-income settings. The program for this Congress proves otherwise. You will be hearing about advances in cutting-edge science, but also about the roles of exercise in the management of chronic kidney disease. The program gives particular emphasis to practical solutions and consistent attention to social and economic challenges that need to be overcome. People with kidney disease should not be denied access to diagnosis and treatment for unfair reasons, including those with economic or social causes. I thank this society for extending the reach of kidney medicine, for training so many doctors and allied professionals, and for bringing hope and health to so many lives. I wish this World Congress of Nephrology every success. Thank you.